What's up everyone, it's Linda and welcome back to the channel. If you are a returning subscriber then you probably know that this is something new that has been going on in my life and if you are a new subscriber, welcome to the channel. So this video is about me learning how to roller skate obviously as you can tell. Just to give a little background about my history with um, any type of skating at all, I have none. I went ice skating a few times in high school but I never left the wall because I just didn't know how to ice skate. Um, I have a terrible fear of falling and I don't know what got into me but I don't have a TikTok so it did take me a little bit longer to jump on the bandwagon and get a pair of roller skates but I found the roller skating community through Instagram and there's this one specific video that I saw from um, Kels on Instagram. She was skating on the street into the sunset uh, to crazy for you by Madonna and that video literally I saw that video one night and I was like I'm gonna get roller skates and I'm gonna learn how to roller skate and I want to do videos like this so I was looking around online for roller skates I didn't even know where to start but I followed I found this Instagram account called Impala skates and on their Instagram story they shared um, that a surfboard shop in Hermosa Beach had just restocked on Impala skates and they had the pink color that I wanted and I called them the next day to see if they still had my size. They still had my size and I decided, you know what? Let's just go get a pair of roller skates. So I drove all the way down to Hermosa Beach. I grabbed my roller skates. I got some pads and that was the day I decided, hey, I'm gonna roller skate. This is actually part one of a two-part series. Um, I'm excited because this is like my first two-part series, but this is gonna be days one through 15, and then the next videos will be days 16 to 30. So without further ado, let's start the video of me learning how to roller skate days one through 15. So day one was pretty rough. I really went into it without any research on how to skate or fall properly, as you can tell by the way I'm kind of just walking around on them. I used the poles in the backyard to catch myself every time I lost balance, but I did fall really hard one time this day. On day two, I practiced using my toe stop so I could rely less on grabbing things for balance, but as you can see, I was still obviously terrified of falling. I kept drilling the toe stop until I slowly got more comfortable with it. On day three, I finally decided I was going to film a roller skating video for YouTube. I went to the front of my house to practice using my toe brake and to also stop relying on the poles in my backyard to catch myself every time I lost my balance. I got some pretty bad whiplash from the falls this day. Today, oh, <laughs> it's day four. You're just standing. <laughs> I'm. Ju I literally just standing, and I fucking, <laughs> I almost slipped and fell. I'm gonna leave my camera on the floor. And we're just gonna record and see how many times I fall. Um, yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> Most of the videos for the next few days are going to be muted because of the copyrighted music playing, so obviously I'm still getting the hang of skating forwards. I think you can clearly see the lack of confidence in the way I'm rolling around in these clips. I tried doing bubbles for the first time today. I also learned how to do plow stops and continued to work on my toe break. Please hold for screen. <laughs> I got a little brave and I also tried other things like transitions and backwards skating for the first time and needless to say I fell a lot. So by the end of this day's practice, I was able to do bubbles forwards and backwards. And here's a clip of Mel's first fall that I managed to catch on camera. Oh shit! Okay, it's day... Five, I believe of skating and we're gonna practice balance um, I'm gonna try balancing on each foot working on my edging or edges or whatever I'm still learning all the technology the technology the terminology um, I want to learn to transition or turn around um, do like the crossover walking thing um, yeah I we'll see what happens 
So yeah, day five started off with me practicing balancing on each foot just to make sure that I could do it a little bit more confidently. This is the day I realized that I'm more comfortable balancing all of my weight on my left foot rather than my right foot, which means that I am more left foot dominant. As I continued to work on my balance, I learned this one foot heel thingy. I'm still not really sure if there's a name for this trick. I practiced a little more backward skating and ended the day with a lot of transition practice. You can see that I was leading with my elbow and not my head first so this wasn't really good form but it wasn't too bad of a start. Okay y'all it's really early in the morning and my new protective pads came in and I just wanted to give you guys a comparison of the pads that I bought from Big Five versus the pads that I got from Amazon. I'm already wearing the knee pads, but this is a knee pad. And then look at the previous knee pad I was wearing. Like, there's so much more protection. I don't even know what the hell I was doing wearing these little baby protective pads, but I honestly feel way more safer trying some things today. I think I already said that it was day six today, but I'm skating by myself today. I think I'm just gonna practice transitions and just practice cruising forward just so that way I can um, get a little bit more comfortable skating a little faster forward. We might run into some problems today. Um, the street I skate on is not a really good street to skate on. It's really slanted. All the sidewalks are incredibly bumpy, so... <sighs> I don't know, maybe I'll stand in the middle of the street and work on my transitions today. It was really hard to stay balanced on the slanted street, but I tried my best to practice the open book, closed book transition method. You can find a ton of tutorials on this on YouTube and on Instagram. Because of the regulations LA County still has for the pandemic, I didn't really know where else I could go skate besides my street. I ended up cutting the practice short for the day after about 20 minutes on the street, but some practice is better than no practice at all. It's day seven of attempting to roller skate. I don't know if we can count yesterday because it was a fail attempt at trying to skate but then not finding a place. I skated for like about 20 minutes yesterday but it is day seven. If y'all didn't know it's very important to stretch before you start skating because uh, my hips started getting a little bit sore while I was um, skating the other day so I'm gonna start stretching my hips. Today I want to work more on being more comfortable cruising forward. I want to work on being able to like cross one leg over the other while I'm skating and then after that I do want to keep on working on transitions. I keep watching videos and footwork on how to do transitions and I don't know how they do it like I I think I just need to practice and like get into my own groove of it but I don't know I'm feeling slightly discouraged but I think I can I think I'll get it getting my stretching in I don't know if anyone was interested, but here's how I lace up my skates. I prefer to lace them up pretty tight around the ankles for support because I'm really afraid of twisting my ankles. I continued to open the open close book method for transitions in place and eventually I attempted to transition while skating. Here's the first attempt. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I remember that fall being really scary, but I continued to practice it while skating really, really slow. I was able to get a couple of transitions down while skating, but I still fell a ton and I lost my balance quite a few times. I also practiced this move that I think is called the scissors. It helped me practice switching the weight between my legs in order to get better at steering and cruising. I can't stop, I can't stop. Day eight, I'm gonna to continue to practice my transitions and my turns just because there is a little bit more open space and less rocks. So let's see what I accomplished today. <laughs> now keep in mind that this is my first time skating on such a smooth surface. In this clip, I didn't realize how fast I was going and ultimately the only way I knew how to stop after I got adjusted to the surface I was skating on, I continued on to what felt like a never-ending journey on finally getting the hang of transitions. I slowed it down and kept my hands on my knees for more balance and I just continued drilling and drilling and drilling. I still lost my balance quite a few times, but I never gave up and I just kept on trying. And we ended day eight with a video of me practicing the scissors. Shout out Melanie for being my camera woman for most of this journey. I did it! Good morning, everybody. It's day nine of roller skating. I guess goals for today are to continue working on transitions, continue getting comfortable skating forward like yesterday's goals. Yeah, we'll see how it goes again. Why, does I, why don't I look cool? No. 
So aside from that horrible attempt at a backward strut, I continued drilling transitions. I remember feeling really frustrated because I wasn't sure what I was doing wrong. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Ah, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of breath and I fell a bunch of times, but we'll get it. And after that little pep talk to myself, I finally started to get it down without having my hands on my knees. I don't even know if I got that. Oh, oh! Today, um, Melanie just told me, is day 10. So we are in the double digit days. Um, we're gonna continue to work on transitions today. I'm gonna continue to practice working on my non-dominant foot, balancing on that foot so that way I can skate normally forward without being afraid of falling. Um, and then I also want to practice some moves skating backwards because now that I'm a little bit comfortable doing transitions I want to be able to skate transition and then skate backwards not just doing the bubbles but like kind of strutting backwards but we'll see how far we can get. Today was the day I started to finally feel more comfortable and more confident in doing transitions. I watched so many tutorials on transitions but I saw an IGTV of someone explaining that it helps to have one foot in front of the other before you transition and it made the biggest difference in me getting the hang of figuring out how to balance the weight between my legs. <laughs> but of course, when you start to get the hang of one thing, a new issue arises. I had so much trouble trying to figure out how to begin skating backwards. I already knew how to do bubbles backwards, but I was trying to figure out how to skate with each individual foot backwards. You can clearly see how confused I was with the lack of movement here. We're gonna keep trying backwards, you guys. Determined, I'll get some sort of movement today. Shout out to Dirty Deb from the Dirty School of Skates on YouTube for basically teaching me everything I know about roller skating. I practiced all of the methods I watched on tutorial videos and I started to combine my transitions with the backward steps. I think today's day 11, but I am by myself this morning. It is 7.30 in the morning. Today's goals are to continue practicing my transitions. Um, I'm trying to do them smoother. And then another thing I want to work on today is skating backwards. I really don't know how long I'm going to be here today or how it's going to go, but we're going to keep practicing. Practice makes perfect. So I'm pretty sure I haven't mentioned this yet, but I always like to start my skate practices off by skating a few laps around the area. I attempted a ton of different methods of backward skating and it didn't go as smoothly as I had planned, but it also didn't go too terribly. Fuck me. I practiced some transitions off camera and also practiced some more scissors. Hey everyone, it is day 12 of skating, I believe. I'm actually just gonna practice in the garage today. Now, I haven't practiced in the garage ever because there is not much space today i want to practice a little bit more backward skating i'm going to practice transitioning a little slower and i want to try practicing like uh not necessarily like a full 360 spin but kind of like another transition but like a smoother one so it's kind of like i don't even i don't know the correct terms for this sorry so fingers crossed i don't get bitten by mosquitoes this afternoon and i will see you in the garage okay we're in the garage now and i just wanted to show you guys the space that I will be traveling. So I have like a pretty narrow area, but it's big enough for me to practice. So I will be practicing what I can today. I practiced these little half pivot things on each foot. And once I was comfortable, I eventually put them together and created this spinning type of circle motion that I was doing. I think I thought that this was supposed to help me figure out how to transition better, but I honestly was just spinning in circles for no good reason. supposed to eventually like know how to turn with that move like I I'm confused I'm, I'm obviously and it's very hot in this garage I'm sweating bullets right now oh I got sweat in my eyes oh god so I ended the day a little confused as to what I was trying to attempt I didn't manage to try any backward skating because of the limited space but I think that I was hoping that this pivot move would eventually help me advance in my transitions <laughs> 
Hey everyone, it's day 13. I don't know how much I can talk today because um, the neighbors are having a party or barbecue next door. You can probably hear them right now. But um, we're still in the garage space because there is a heat wave this weekend and it is stinking hot over here. Um, it's like still about 100 degrees right now and it's 8 o'clock. Um, it's going to be even hotter tomorrow, 112 to 114 degrees. Insane. See, I'm already sweating in the garage, but um, we're going to practice um, more spins. I think I was calling them carves yesterday, but I think they're called pivots or something like that. But we're going to keep practicing the transition thingies. Uh, we'll see what we can do in a small space. I remember now that I was drilling these half pivots the day before because I wanted to learn how to do a two foot spin. I eventually went from doing these pivots into doing these 180 turns with both feet on the ground. It was definitely as hard as I made it out to look like. After about 30 minutes of practicing, I realized I was attempting to spin in the direction that required me to use my non-dominant foot. Once I realized that and I tried it in the other direction, I was able to get the hang of it a little bit better. I'm getting it! I'm getting it! Oh my god! And because I was tired of falling so much, I ended the practice by trying to get a little bit of backward skating in. I think this was the first day I finally started to understand the mechanics of backward skating. Good morning, y'all. It is day 14, so it is officially two weeks since I have been roller skating or the, the second week of roller skating is done. So apparently yesterday a fire broke out about an hour away from me like in San Bernardino because of someone's gender reveal pyrotechnics going crazy or whatever. And first of all, you shouldn't be having a party in the first place. And second of all, that is like the second story I've heard of like a gender reveal causing a big fire like this and that's ridiculous. Besides the point, the sky is actually like, the sun is like red right now and I actually had a little bit of ash in my car so I don't know if it's even safe. So I don't know how long I'll be skating today. I want to continue practicing skating backwards and transitions. I think that's just going to be the focus for the next few times that I skate until I finally finally nail it and then we'll see what I continue to practice on. So I was really excited to go out and skate this day because I was going to practice backwards skating after understanding how to do it foot by foot rather than just doing the bubbles that I was doing. Okay, hey guys, um, quick update. There was this random guy chilling at the area that I was at and he was minding his business or I was minding my business and I thought he was minding his business. And I noticed, like I looked up a little bit because as a girl you have to be aware of your surroundings or as a person in general, you should always be aware of your surroundings. And he was looking at me and I was like, okay, maybe he's just looking at me because like who the hell is like practices roller skating? Who the fuck still roller skates, right? And like nobody in this area I ever see like roller skates so I was just like okay maybe he's just looking because I'm roller skating like no big deal but then I noticed like as I was skating away from my car and my car has like I usually keep my belongings like my keys my phone and my uh camera sitting on my car when I record or like at least near it and as I was skating backwards away from my car I saw him walking towards my car and I was like, okay, this is weird. So I started skating closer. Like I started like speed skating forward towards my car. And uh, as I was speed skating towards my car, he stopped and like sat on the curb. Um, and then, or he sat on the curb that was like, but he was still coming like closer towards me. And he was like looking away to the side. And I was like, okay, like maybe he just wanted to sit somewhere else. Um, let's just not think anything of it, but like still be aware. And then, um, I was practicing skating again and then like a couple minutes later he stands up and I see him walking towards my car again like as I'm away from it and I start speed skating over back to my car again and I grab my phone and I'm just like texting my um I'm texting Melanie and Jenny and I'm like okay this guy's weird like I I texted them when I first got there and told them that there was a guy there and I was like I'll keep my eye out but I don't want to be suspicious and I don't want to assume anything but um yeah like uh I I was texting and then I noticed from the corner of my eye he's like trying to motion me and like get my attention and I look at him at a quick glance and like I see him trying to talk to me and like he, he starts walking towards me but he's like still pretty far away and then as he's walking towards me I call Melanie and I'm like hey are you still coming like saying it really loud just you know so he assumes that like someone is coming to meet me and Melanie like I woke her up I feel so bad I'm so sorry Mel but like I confused the hell out of her she was like we're not meeting today well like what do you mean and I was like check your text messages and I was like 
waiting for her to read the text messages about the guy and I was like oh can you just stay on the phone with me and I got into my car with my roller skate still on in the driver's seat and I took off my right roller skate and I drove away because what the fuck um as I was sitting in the car talking to Melanie still he was like coming closer and like looking at me and like still trying to talk to me and I was just like I don't know what his intentions were if he was trying to steal my stuff or if he was just trying to talk to me or get my attention but I just didn't feel safe in the moment I I might sound like I'm being extreme but like I don't feel safe because I am on roller skates and I'm not good on roller skates okay like if I need to run from a situation or like do anything I can't do it on roller skates obviously so um better safe than sorry I drove to another location to practice um I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera out because there are a little bit more, there, there's a little bit more people here. I'll probably record things on my phone if I do get anything or record any more progress. Um, I will po probably post the phone footage, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know to always be aware of your surroundings, especially if you're practicing roller skating alone or if you're even just out by yourself alone. Don't be distracted on your phone. It's really just better to be safe than sorry because you never know anyone's intentions right now like the world is crazy everything is insane right now and i just wanted to let you guys know that but i'm not gonna let it ruin my day i was a little i'm not gonna lie like i was upset when i started filming this and i feel a little bit better like letting it out but um i feel okay now and i'm gonna go back to skating because i want to keep practice roller skating so i will talk to you guys later <laughs> sorry for that long story but anyways this is my first time ever skating on such a rough surface after i moved locations i was basically skating on gravel i fell a ton of times today and i'm sure it was both a combination of just practicing backwards skating and the surface that i was skating on but regardless of what happened earlier i was still really excited to practice skating backwards and i was super proud of the progress that i made this day Good morning, everybody. It's day 15. Um, it's actually pretty early in the morning, earlier than I would normally like to go skate, but it's 7.30. And the reason why I am at the park so early is because I had a random 4 a.m. shift today. It was like a really early random 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. short shift at work. Sorry, I'm putting on some sunscreen right now. Always wear sunscreen, y'all. So yesterday was officially my two week mark of skating. If I didn't mention it in the video already, I created a separate Instagram page for my skate diary just so that way I'm not flooding everyone's feed entirely of my skating progress because um, I'm having a lot more fun skating than I thought I would even though I like skate by myself most of the time. I'm having like just a really good time learning again and it's not not just learning because I was in school for a little bit again but just learning something physical makes me feel like I'm in high school or like I'm a kid again because it's like all muscle memory and it's it's working a part of myself physically and also my brain that just makes me I don't know excited like I feel I feel young again I feel not that I'm old but I feel like a kid again and I've been having such a good time and honestly the roller skating community on Instagram is so kind and so encouraging and it just makes me want to keep you know recording the progress and posting it every day that i go and yeah it's just been really fun i originally started recording myself just on my phone for progress and then um someone suggested or a couple people suggested to me that i do like a youtube video on it and i was like oh i don't know we'll see how it goes like i'm not planning on like making it a youtube video because i just didn't want to do the work but honestly i'm having so much fun learning and recording myself every day that i just was like okay let's do 30 days like you're at the half way mark let's record yourself on the camera for another 30 days after the 30 days is over i still do plan to record my progress now and then on my phone but it's not going to be as extensive as the first 30 days was um i honestly don't have any roller skating goals i'm not trying to go down to a skate park and like learn how to go on the ramps and stuff that seems a little bit too difficult for me but um if i end up going there one day i will but honestly the only goal that i have for myself is to just learn how to skate comfortably and smoothly without like you know being concerned that i'm gonna fall and i just want to look graceful i just want to be like i just want to you know look very smooth when i'm skating front forwards and backwards so i don't really have any goals of like oh i want to do tricks and stuff i honestly just want to practice like the basics and um 
a lot of new people that followed my page was co were commenting on my stuff and they're saying that I was learning so that they're saying that I was learning so fast in comparison to their progress and I don't want anyone to compare their progress to mine I don't compare myself to anyone else's progress because every day people skate for different times like they skate for different amount of time like everyone has different goals like every single day like what they want to work on in terms of just like the basics or tricks or whatever and everyone has a different learning pace so um, that's why I don't compare myself to other people's progress and that's why you shouldn't compare your progress to mine so I just want to make sure that you guys aren't comparing your progress to mine because like I said we all have different goals we're all working on different things clearly I, I'm working on my transitions and skating backwards because those are the things that I really really need to get down um, but yeah that's all I wanted to say today uh, yeah I'm at the park though day 15 let's get started <laughs> I practiced backward skating for a majority of the day and as I got more comfortable with it, I started to try putting the things I learned together. I began practicing transitions into backward skating some more and by the end of the day, I was able to start to get the hang of how to steer my feet while skating backwards. And that concludes days 1 through 15 of me learning how to roller skate. Be sure to subscribe to stay tuned for days 16 through 30. Um, I apologize that I couldn't fit all of this in one video. As you can tell, it was a very lengthy video in itself already and I didn't want to make this like a whole 30 plus minute video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in part two. Bye!